Hello everyone, my name is Afaika773, and today I have a video that is a lot different than what I normally post on this channel. This video is a trailer for an upcoming SMP that will be hosted on my Discord server. If you aren't in my Discord server, the link is in the description of this video, but sometimes the link gets expired, so you can just DM me. I have my uh, Discord tag in the description as well, because that doesn't expire. The SMP I'm going to be hosting is called the Arch SMP, and it will start tomorrow at 11 a.m. CST. Or if you guys need dates, because uh, tomorrow won't be the same for everyone, uh, Monday, July 18th at 11 a.m. CST. So now I'm just going to go in spectator mode and give a quick tour of what is going to be special about this SMP. And I'll tell you as well. There's two very interesting things about arch smp that make it different from just a normal survival one of them of course is the giant arch but that's like part of one and the main part is this structure right here it doesn't look like much right now but if i fly inside it you guys will see a lot of redstone and a lot of just everything this took me a while to make but this is the lifeline the heart this is the heart of our arch this is the heart of arch smp i said that first try so one of the special things about Arch SMP is this heart that I've created. This will give everybody a, a tag. Uh, there are 13 different tags, and each tag will give you a potion effect that you will have for the rest of your career on this SMP, with one exception, of course, that I'll get to later. But when you load in, you'll be sent into this box. I'm not in Spectator. Into this box right here, you will click this button, and it will give you a random potion effect. I'll demonstrate this later. This is done by using uh, first uh, two item filters that go into two different dispensers. Uh, and then this one has six items in it. This one has seven items in it. And each of them will filter and give you a special effect. The reason I don't use one dispenser is one dispenser can only hold nine items. And there's 13. So yeah, just pretty standard uh, item filter. This design was actually used by Momo Jumbo in Season 6 of Hermitcraft, which is what I remember it from, but I'm sure it's been used in other things and made by other people. And then this up here is the other special part about having an effect. If you were to sacrifice a netherite ingot to the box, I don't really know what this is called yet. If you were to sacrifice a netherite ingot to it, it will remove your special effect and send you back into this room to get a new one. But it does cost... It, hold on. It do, I don't like this view. It does cost another 8 ingot. But for the demonstration, I luckily have 63. So we're right here in the box. I'm still in creative mode, but obviously it'll work in survival. One person at a time will go in here, and they will click this button. I have show command block stuff on right now so you can see what's happening, but it won't be on for the actual... SMP. So we click this button, it'll teleport us back to zero, 00. So, out of all the 13 positive effects it gave me, I got haste. So, yeah, haste is, it's, it's fairly useful, uh, but it's definitely not one of the better ones. One of the better ones would be regeneration or strength or conduit power, but haste is pretty solid. But, like I said, I don't want haste. So, I'm going to take a sacrificial netherite ingot, or just a normal netherite ingot that I'm going to call sacrificial. I'm going to toss it right here, and it's going to teleport me back here and remove my effect. So now I can get a new one. Night vision. This is actually... Oh, that's... I need to fix that. Yeah, I, you will not be given epilepsy when you have night vision. I'll fix that. The other special part about this SMP is what the arch means. I've hosted two SMPs in the past, and the Isle SMP, if you remember from my YouTube channel, went very well. And that was more of the anarchy side of things. But I've also hosted chill, just friendly SMPs, and those have gone well too. But when I tried to like combine them and like make them one thing, I, it feels like it didn't go very well. So instead of combining them into one thing, I've made them two separate things with the Arch SMP. Let me make it day. With that being said, Arch SMP has two sides, the Ether and the Martyr. The difference between the Ether and the Martyr is that the Ether makes up everything where your X coordinate is positive, and the Martyr makes up everything where your X coordinate is negative. If you're at zero, uh, it's part of the Ether, just because I have no idea how to make international waters. 
When you're in the ether, it is a lawful and beautiful land. There is no griefing, stealing, murder, and it's just a peaceful place to build and have fun and, you know, be friendly, just like a chill SMP. But, obviously, not everyone gets this chance. Because if you were to, I don't know, do something illegal or something people didn't like, the Council of Ether, which makes up pretty much everyone who lives in the Ether unless you don't play anymore, has the decision to make a majority vote. If that two-thirds majority vote passes, they can banish you from the ether and into the Martyr. The Martyr is a lawless hellscape with griefing allowed, stealing allowed, murder allowed, no rules except just like basic hacking, cheating stuff, you know. The Martyr is ruled by one man, the King of Martyr, and they have all power over the Martyr. But like, I mean, people can choose to listen to you, but... There's really nowhere you can banish them to, so the King of Martyrs is more of like a like a like a name, but pe people will listen to you because they have nothing better to do. But there is a catch: the King of Martyr and all the people banished to Martyr cannot enter the Ether. If they do, they will be punished, killed, and we can do whatever we want with their items after we kill them in the Ether. If you are a good citizen, you can visit the Martyr whenever you want. Uh. Anyone can visit the Martyr at any time, but to be able to visit the Aether, you need to not have been banished before, or just not have been the King of the Martyr. Of course, you can get forgiven, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Why is it raining? If you have any more questions, feel free to DM me or talk to me in the Discord server. If you want to sign up, all you have to do is go to the channel marked ASMP Signups, Click the uh, reaction roll, and you'll be admitted into the chat, and I'll see that you want to join. Like I said, the SMP starts Monday, uh, July 18th at 11 a.m. CST, so Central Standard Time. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to host this SMP, and I hope you guys all have fun playing on it if you choose to. If not, um, I'll probably make videos about it, depending on how well it goes. Uh, and I'm sure other people will too. Uh, feel free to check them out. Uh, but that said, thank you for watching this video, of course. Have a great day, and uh, be here tomorrow for the SMP, I, I guess. The SMP will go for a while, so if you're not there on day one, that's fine. It'll go for a while. But being there on day one is cool, because, you know, you can get stuff before other people. Okay, I'm dragging this on. See you guys later.